Hello and welcome back to the Mighty Miniatures campaign. It's episode 25. And we are going to hit out a really hard contract. Uh, do I want... Sensor locking. I'm not sure I do, actually. Right. We're going to have to play this very carefully. Potentially, I mean. I could get lucky. The enemies could be weak. But I think this is going to be... One of these missions where I'm going to have to do a master class in tactics to actually win it cleanly. Three skulls on hardest settings. The chance for a wall of heavies is pretty high. Command interface initiated. Time to get paid. Okay. It's this map. The high ground is nice, but it is exposed. There could be enemies up here as well. It doesn't feel like there's any good places to hide up here. I actually kind of prefer this rocky outcrop here. It's tight to the edge of the map, so there's unlikely to be any extra extra baggage. Aye, aye. Exposed high ground is worse than a wall. This this is like a wall. A wall is really exploitable. High ground is nice. But if it's like a slope, if it's like a flat high ground like that, and there's nothing to hide behind, then it becomes risky. I mean, there are minerals around here and such. So it has potential, but with the possibility of there being enemy reinforcements, and they almost certainly would be up there. That is my thought. Got to keep the LOS broken. Man, I really should have brought the sensor lock mech along. But that's okay. Okay, that's another medium. Well, I'm glad someone brought their sensor locker along. Uh, this is a lot of uh, t turn time that's being taken here, so there must be a few enemies around. Or I'm just an idiot and not, not taking my turn. This mech has already moved, so I could in theory just go up here and get a little peek. A little peek! Oh, it's the Exploder Bolt! What I will do is I will vigilance to make sure I go next turn so I can get out of here. Confirmed. Firing. It's a heavy mech, but it's relatively easy to deal with. Oh, a headshot. Because the ammo is in the CT and it likes to explode. I can actually get a nice clean shot from here. I think I'll do that and then I'll back away. Waiting on you, Commander. 
you can just stay behind cover for now. Roger, roger. That is a heavy. Or a tactical assault, which would be really bad. Two Thunderbolts. That's a pair of AC-2s. And some missiles. So that is a Jaeger mech. Missile type. Time to hide. Come. Come to Edmund's ass kicking corner. I presume that he sees this. Waiting for orders. So he must be tactical. Must be a tactical heavy. I'll move my Shadow Hawk out of the way in a second. I don't think this guy's got missiles. Oh! It all missed! I should have hidden away quicker though. That might be a Black Knight. Okay, time to hide. We'll engage them as they come round the corner. Ooh. He's somehow got a shot from there. I guess he's high up. But that's okay, because none of these guys will have a shot. Except with missiles. Damage is minor, Commander. The old missile Jaeger is going to be very annoying. But he won't close in. And that's helpful. So what we can do is just shoot this guy. Backing up, but he doesn't have a shot. What can I do for you? Is that a clean shot? Just missiles. I want a shot, but I want a shot in such a way that none of these idiots have got direct LOS. Get him! Oh, that's a lot of misses. Oh yeah, it is a black knight. They've got a walk on me. Lots of tactical heavies. Gonna stay tight to the wall. Give them nothing but take from them everything. Get a little bit closer. This angling is perfect. Next turn I will 
immediately take characters who uh, are not bulwarked to bulwark them. Unfortunately, because they're all bloody tactical heavies. Ow. They're all going to get their turns. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Well, two of them are, anyway. Ow. Ow. Okay, I need to pull this one back. You need to be somewhere else. Wait a minute. Left torso. Mm. Actually, I kind of need this firepower in the fight right now. Affirmative. I'll pull back in a minute. I'll pull back next turn. Hmm, this is great because the angle that they have is uh is interrupted. Waiting for orders. Target acquired. Come on, get that ammo to explode. It's got ammo everywhere. Ammo there. Ammo there. Oh, no ammo there. Oh, that's the wrong target. Nice. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Ready for orders. Funny I had a uh Roger. enough morale for precision. Okay, he pulled out. Well, his missile launcher is uh, severely damaged, so that nonsense is going to stop. Good to go. You did not actually take much damage last turn, believe it or not. Oh man, though, that Black Knight. An overheat alert, huh? I think probably this turn is the ideal turn What's up, boss? to pull Glitch back. Locked on target. Good hits. Inflicted some heavy damage. Where are you going? You know what? I don't care. Waiting for orders. It is time for you to hide. And have a cool off turn. Got to keep that left towards the enemy though. I would say Good to go. that here would be ideal. Uh, no, that's that's got a direct LOS. I'll be too far back and have a let them potentially have a shot. Uh, either the angle's bad or the position is bad. 
we'll use the jump jets to get exactly the angle we want. Which means that we won't cool off as quickly as we would have liked to, but... Better than nothing. I'm going to brace just in case they use sensor lock. Oof, ow. None of these guys can see me. So. Receiving you. I guess we just pummel the Black Knight. Because I haven't got a shot on anybody else. Wow, all of that hit is CT. How useful. What a fight this is. Ah, oh, the weak Thunderbolt is back. If I can finish the job. That Missile Jaeger is so annoying. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. Apart from wait for the moron to run out of missiles. Anyway, now that you're back, I guess I'll just say hello. It's blocked LOS, that's why they're missing so badly. This is kind of like the anti-evasion. So cover helps evasion builds out because you, you know, you have a lot of evasion chevrons and then you're running through cover, you get a cover bonus. Um, blocked LOS helps bulwark builds out a lot because it effectively gives you evasion. But the shots that get through hit your bulwarking. Come on, let's get some explosions. Oh! Solid connection on that one. Solid connection, but no explosion. Ow. He's running hot. He alphaed all of his good stuff when he had blocked LOS. Should I get glitch reinvolved? If I did, I would need to vigilance it. So, with a damaged mech, one thing that you can do is you can just run up with vigilance, unload, and then because uh, you have such high initiative next turn, you can just run away again. And I think at this moment, this is a good idea. So you Vigilance, you run up. Affirmative. I should have waited for these guys to ha have their turns first. Never mind. I made a slight mistake there. I should have waited for them to take their turns. Come on, look at all this exposed structure. Explosion, please. Oh, there it is! <laughs> run! Run, you fool! Ah, it worked out. Old Jaeger decided to carry on pummeling my Shadow Hawk. This guy's armament has severely dropped. 
Ah, oh, but ironically, the machine gun ammo explosion was in the arm. It wasn't in anywhere that I'd actually done the most severe damage. Now you see, I could just run away. That's how that works. I'll think about it. Will I think about it? There are two enemies due to go in the next phase. Yeah. Right, Commander. Hide! Now, do I brace, which is the safe move, or do I fire my missiles at this guy and hope that something explodes? Preferably him. Let's do it. it. Come on. Ooh. Oh, it's another headshot. How many injuries has he taken? Ha <laughs> ha. Another mech hammered by the LOS blocker. That's where the weapon systems are. If only I had a uh, precision strike, but I, I used it. I don't regret using it for what I did. God damn it. He's probably not blocked anymore now. He's probably got solid LOS now. No, he doesn't actually. He does not have solid LOS. Affirmative. Come on, blow up. Ooh! Pilot incapacitated, get out. Receiving you. Which side of this mech is hammered? It's the right, uh, no, it's the left. It's somehow the left side. Right. Let's get rid of the other idiot. Locking on target. Because the Black Knight is like, it runs too hot, and it's also quite a tough mech, it's, even though it's the bigger threat, it's just much easier to get rid of the, uh, the second uh, thunder. And once these are dealt with, we lure the Jaeger in close where it will be useless. Good to go. I'm almost out of missiles though. Let's conserve heat by not firing missiles. Instead of not firing lasers, just to conserve the ammo at the same time. Ah, oh, don't run away. I want to be your friend. I've been sensor locked. That's a weird thunderbolt. It's not got all the missiles and everything. It's got a load of medium lasers. Good to go. I wonder if that means it doesn't actually uh Ready for order. It probably doesn't actually have any uh, ammo in it. So I've been totally misunderstanding my situation. Engaging with target. Well, I don't have a clean shot on it anymore, so let's carry on pounding the Black Knight. Is he backing up? He's moved back into a position now where he's LOS blocked. Damage minimal. So that's clever. Commander? Hmm. We will reserve glitch, then bring her out for a strike and then send her back in to hide. Who do we go for? I guess we've already opened up this tin can. Ah, no luck.
I swear it's going to be the most satisfying thing on earth when I kill that Jaeger. Okay, all the enemies have had their turn. So I can run out, fire everything, and then run back into cover next turn. Get him! Oh, nice! Oh, nice try. He went guarded. Commander? How dare he? Coordinates received. Here we go. Might as well. Them shots are really starting to hurt now. Ah, oh, they're both in cover. This guy is so close to losing his armament. The Black Knight is just taking center torso poundings. This is very hard to decide who to aim for. This guy is in no danger of dying, but he is in danger of losing his weapons. He lost some heat sinks already. Two more are there. The PPC is there. I say we go for the Thunderbolt until the weapons are gone. Ah ha ha ha! Okay. Now his firepower is crippled. Let's work, carry on working on this Black Knight. Oh, I keep hitting the leg for some reason. I'm not sure how useful that truly is. Attacking from position. But if I knock him over. Oh, he lost a heat sink, that's good. Scored a critical hit. I'm out of long range missiles. Wow, the Jaeger couldn't do anything, because he didn't have a shot. Receiving you. That's funny. That's my left arm that's like got nearly full armor. No, it's the right arm. Let's do a little bit of armor angling. Locked on. If we get the leg on the Black Knight, we can then just aim for the CT. Try and take it out. This guy has lost his most dangerous weapon systems. Took a hard hit there. All this is going to be a melee mech soon. That AC ammo is almost out. Oh, is he going to come out of cover? No. I should be so lucky. Okay, that's just the arm. No weapon systems in the arm. The ammo can is empty. The time has come to get into melee range. Let's do it does mean that that Jaeger is going to start blasting his AC2s at me, but whatever. Oh, 
I can't afford to be sitting here doing 50 damage. Good to go. It's just the Jaeger mech left to go. So, uh, that's fine. That's acceptable. Come on, get that leg. Oh, one hit in the leg. Oh, the Jaeger mech went for a glitch. Armor's holding. It wasn't a good hit, though. Uh, yeah, Bulwark. This is an acceptable level of risk now. I want to knock this guy over. Come on! God damn it! I wanted that leg so bad. Oh, the Thunderbolt went next! That's awesome. And he took the stupid friggin' blocked sight shot. This gives me another chance to knock this idiot over. Get him! With courage! Yes! Help me! Sweet! Now I just need to shoot the head to get the CT. Do I bring this guy out of cover to do that? Let's try this first. Oof! Oh, we hit the head! And we hit the side. He's still alive, though. Yes, Commander. I can't get into cover. Let's have a cooldown turn. I won't risk it. If I aim for the head... Yeah. Okay, let's just focus CT. Nice. Loads of heat sinks destroyed. Now what are you gonna do, huh? Probably melee me and punch my head off. Nope. Warning. You have chosen your target poorly. Oof. The irony of the AC2 campaign being inflicted on me. Receiving you. Kill him. Confirmed. Kill him! Engaging. Switch targets so I could move. That, my friend, is a fail. Good to go. Sixty-five, that's all I need. Right, Commander. Get him. Ah, oh, thirteen. Come on, die. Yes! We're doing it! We're doing it! Orders. Come on! 
Come on. I'm out of LRMs. One more good hit. There's the bloody Jaeger mech. Who ran out of LRMs a long time ago. Come on. Oh my god. They've still not done any real damage to this Shadow Hawk. That armor's not got any weapons, and uh, the body is still moderately okay. It's the Vindicator that's in the worst shape. Goodbye. Get wrecked. Okay, now it's time for the weak at the ankles Jaeger mech to die. And about time too, because I'm fed up of being shot at by it. So of course the idiot is like stood in the minerals and that's why he's been failing to hit. The minerals gives you like a plus four evasion bonus, but it also gives you a plus two penalty to hit. So it's a net benefit, but if you're just DPSing from safety, it makes no sense. Let's go. Two can play at this game. Two can play at this game. Oh, that's funny. The Jaeger mech actually gets a penalty to uh, melee. It's actually really bad at melee for a heavy. So this will be a fight that he will will not win. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. You didn't need that leg, did you? Standing by. Standing by. Was that that left side that's still in good nick? No, right side. Position confirmed. Nice. One solid connection on that leg and he is going down. Unfortunately, I am out of AC2 ammunition. Engaging target. Oof. If only I had the other AC2. In theory, he shouldn't be able to do serious damage, but I've been wrong before. Got it. Come on, get that leg. Nice! Critical hit. Oh yeah! I hope this episode will be a masterclass in how to handle being completely outnumbered and outgunned. <laughs> He's at it with the melee again. Dude, you're a Jaeger mech. I'm under heavy fire. Your melee is awful. Also, you are not under heavy fire. You are engaged in fisticuffs. Oh, there goes your arm. I could just run away from him now. He's only got a medium laser, what's he gonna do? 
gonna sit there and medium laser me to death. Go on, SRM twos. You can do it. Roger that. Pirate units, also known as a fully armored team of heavies. Get wrecked. Jesus, nothing left of it. Junk. Oh, baby! Woo! <clears throat> How's that for victory? Wow, I peeled them apart. Ah, oh, the Thunderbolt which I have the most of is the one that I did not rip the head off of. I thought I was going to get a heavy after this. But it turns out that I did not. How unfortunate. If only, uh, I mean, I was just under way too much pressure to try and do any real capturing. Right, let's see if we get any more of the Thunderbolt. Oh, we got it all! Outstanding! We got six eighths of a heavy. Sadly, none completed, but you know, we push ourselves ever closer. Ah. Oh. In a way, it's disappointing. Because I would have loved to have completed a heavy. That would totally change the dynamic of everything. <clears throat> but it was not to be. Not to be. Oh well. I suppose uh, if I managed to get a heavy, it would wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't continue to be a horrible grind for just that little bit longer. Ooh, an improved AC two. Sure, why not? Goodbye, spider. Man, that was fun. It wasn't easy, though. Ah, cool. Uh, uh, uh hmm. This is much better sea bills. You know what? Should we do a mission on this planet? Because we're here. This is a huge amount of money to offer for a... Uh, for a one and a half skull. And it's right here. Okay, let's get the quick repairs done. And let's just do it. Why not? Reasonable sea bills and reasonable salvage. I will always be happy to take reasonable sea bills and reasonable salvage. Ah, <clears throat> God, you people who wanted a long war, you're getting it. This is definitely the long war. The longest war.
<clears throat> Man, that terrain abuse in that last fight. Come on. You guys are impressed, right? You're a little bit impressed. Right. Usually this mission has poorly maintained top-end mechs. But I still want to maintain a healthy income of sea bills, so I went for 50-50. 50-50 is pretty good for just keeping things going, ticking over. Need the money to absorb a setback. Let's go, boys. Where's the enemy? This cover is good here. This is a really nice position to be in. Okay. Confirmed. There they are. Uh oh, new contacts. Come on, boys. Come on over here. I think this one will just run down the road and expose himself. Okay, that one's in a stupid place. It's a centurion! Definitely a I wouldn't mind a capture. This cold climate is going to really help glitch out as well. Here we go. Nice. Commander. It's an ambush. Anywhere I can get a clean shot. There we go. Can I run there? And get a clean shot. Yes, I can. On it. Roger. This guy is just like, oh crap. He's like that guy from Met Warrior Four. I see the enemy closing in on the base. To any Steiner units that hear this, I'll delay them as long as I can. Attacking from position. This guy's gonna be turned into a gerbil sandwich. Um. I don't know who he's planning to shoot at, but I will bulwark Confirm. this mech first, because he's the most exposed. Now, will he move? Oh, he's going to go hide. No? Okay, that's fine. I just push up and shoot him. Sounds good to me. You betcha. Uh, should I bulwark? No, I'm in cover. Who cares? Got it. There's more where that came from.
can you... Ooh! You can jump up there, but you can't get a shot. Ooh! Is that a shadow hawk? Was that a shadow hawk? Yes, it was. I do not really have a good shot from down here. Got it. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Oh, great. I shouldn't have moved so far forward. Engaging target. <laughs> wow, I knew it got his leg there. Critical hit, Commander. Got to get these guys killed quickly before their reinforcements turn up. Oh, a trebuchet. Okay, I need to hide that right arm. Striker. It's just a striker. Waiting for orders. Can we like actually kill this centurion, please? I would appreciate it. You only have a shot on the Shadow Hawk. Nice. No, actually, not that nice. Good thing I took my turn when I did, though, because I needed that bulwark. Okay, rip his leg off. They're crying out loud. Taken a critical hit. Get the leg. Such a tough mech, the Centurion. I'm quite impressed he landed that shot as well. Who do I go for? The answer is obvious. Why not both? Nice. I'm not sure why this guy feels like it's a good idea to fire his LRMs at point-blank range. But, you know, whatever. That just allows us to safely ignore him. Barely hit, Commander. The situation is a bit messy at the moment, but it will clean up soon. 
Just as soon as Glitch puts an end to this Centurion, now is the time for a precision strike. Affirmative. Get it. Nice. That's a kill. Beautiful. The tank is like, oh shit, <laughs> I better run. You better run. Yes, Commander. Oof, lucky boy. Should have been knocked on his ass, but wasn't. Jesus! It's not going as I want. Or at least it's not going as cleanly as I would like it to. Huzzah! There goes the leg. Sweet. I'll have Glitch do some more surgery. And then we're going to work out what to do with this trebuchet. And we try the, uh, the tested and recommended method of punching it in the face until it's dead. So the uh, left hand side of this mech is effectively undamaged. Goodbye. No mercy. Enemy down. I didn't take full salvage rights, so you know, it's half and half. Three pieces will be plenty. Ready for orders. Can you punch him? Nope. What's his rear armor like? 25. Is that it? I have an idea. Ah, oh, I can only DFA the front. What a shame. If I were to move back slightly, then I could have a 90% chance to land everything. But I will not break his guard, that's the problem. I really want to break this guy's guard. Look at these super chunky legs. Let's do it. This will break your guard. Oof! Cool. The legs are holding steady. Of course, we started below him, so it's more like death from below rather than death from above, but, you know, whatever. Oh, we took a headshot there. Thanks. 
more strikers, I think. Light damage. Holding firm. Hopefully no LRM or SRM carriers. Good to go. Because those are always bad news. Oh, if I want a melee, I actually have to change position. Okay. Aye, aye. Oh, ah, get some. He's awfully fond of those missiles. I think I want to close in. This will dramatically reduce my chance to hit with uh, LRMs, but once I get a bit closer I can start meleeing this guy. Which makes sense. He's in cover, but cover does not protect you from being punched. What are these tanks doing? They they just they have no clue. I guess they're not sure where they can get an angle. So they're just sitting there. Waiting for order. Which is pretty funny. And dumb. Got it. This guy's lost most of his weapons now. In theory, I could just move away from him instead of actually getting in close. All weapons committed. Oh well, whatever. I just want to clean up, to be honest. Clean up as quickly as possible. Move on to new things. I'm showing minor damage. If I'd have taken full salvage, I might have approached this mission a little bit differently. Gone for captures. Waiting for orders. Go on, punch him in the leg. Yeah! Knee capped. Oh! 3 HP on the leg! Come on, one shot in the leg. That's all you need. Sweet. Commander? Surgery time. Shoot the head to get the CT. Right, Commander. Oh, apparently, shoot the head to get the other leg. All weapons committed. Nice. Enemy okay, now we just got to take the tanks out. Striker. Okay, front towards enemy. Moving to position. What have we here? Affirmative. 
Oh, I would have thought the small laser would have hit the uh, little one. The one close. Wow, is he going to stop with his back poked? No, nope, he's going to move a huge, huge distance. Damn. Not actually close enough for medium lasers. Got it. Oh, fortunately. Firing on target. Standing by. Can you jump? I probably should have moved all my units up more coherently than this, rather than just trickling forward, but I'm not in any danger, so... Got it. I say that and then some freak headshot will rip one of my cockpits clean off. Finish him. <laughs> oh man. I can't believe he survived that. Five structure there, but 22 structure there. I mean, 15. So it's not shared structure. It's actually sectored. Isn't that interesting? Receiving you. Uh, yeah, fire everything at this guy. Spare a missile for this guy. Multiple enemies locked in. Nice. Wow, he lived. He lived, but not for long. Okay, maybe for just a little bit longer. Moving to position. Still not close enough to use my medium lasers. Finally, Jesus. He really got the damage spreading benefit there. Ready for orders. Moving to position. Roll out. Okay, one tank left. And it is a striker. I thought it was a striker. Just imagine how different this mission would be if there was an LRM carrier. Because you have to deal with that. Like, you can't just ignore it and be like, yeah, I'll go and deal with that later after I'm done with my combat. You have to get stuck in and remove that threat ASAP. Waiting for orders. Expiring. Go! Goodbye. Vehicle down. Hey. There's still an enemy. Somewhere. Got it. Got it. All the way over there. What the hell? I mean, I would have known that if I'd been paying attention, but still. Location confirmed. 
So is it another vehicle? Could it be a mech? I mean, the reinforcements were pretty light. It was just three garbage vehicles. It could be uh, the potential um, thing is that the last mech, uh, the last unit is really powerful. Oh, it's a tank. Well, it ain't going to be that powerful, whatever it is. I say that and it turns out to be a bloody demolisher or something stupid. Let's go. Good to go. Let's remove the peaceful, uh, <clears throat> eco friendly um, power stations here. With our eco friendly battle mechs made from recyclable plastics and metals. Receiving you. Standing by. Okay. Is he stuck? He must be stuck. That's funny. Oh my god, it's an SRM carrier. <laughs> of all the things to be stuck, it's an SRM carrier. This thing could have been so dangerous. Man, of all the things to be stuck. Could you imagine if that was involved in the main fight? If those vehicles had gotten involved in the main fight, that could have uh, gotten really ugly. SRM carriers are terrifying vehicles. Easy. Now, what do I want to take? The Delta Shadowhawk is very nice. Um, I prefer the Centurion, to be honest. More bits. Ever closer we move towards having some mechs that are worth using. It's just kind of amazing how uh, how we've struggled to put anything together for so many episodes. That work order you submitted is complete. Okay. There is another contract on this planet and it just makes sense to do contracts that are on the planet that you're on if you can do them. So, join me next time. We will do the Intelligence Agents mission. Probably go 50-50 on that one. And then we'll move off and we'll go somewhere else. Um, yeah. 8 bits per mech. What can you do? Eight, 8 bits per mech is the reason why we're just not getting anywhere. But every day we get closer. We've nearly finished a uh, Vindicator, which is not like the greatest thing ever, but whatever. We've nearly finished a Wolverine, which would be very good. Although it is a variant that's not actually fantastic for what I'm trying to do. But more importantly, in the heavy class, we have nearly, nearly finished a Thunderbolt. The Laser Thunderbolt, which is going to be an amazing piece of kit for me. And we also have a potential for uh, finishing a Quick Draw. <coughs> or the other type of Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt that likes to explode. You know, this Thunderbolt with its seven lasers reminds me of like a heavier version of the disco back. 
that would be pretty cool for me. And we've made some good money. Maybe even enough to consider buying the better pod soon. Well, <clears throat> safety first for now. Join me next time. Hope you enjoyed this.